Recording. All right, we're back and we're on the trails again this spring. That's exciting. All right, I've got my phone connected to the Cena. So it might make some funny noises. I'm not gonna edit that out. The boys are supposed to have met me quite a bit ago, but they're running behind and uh, I'm not waiting. I'm riding, I'm here to ride, so. It's like some people have been out here in some four by fours and stuff, and so I gotta be careful. Some of it's rutted out kind of bad. So that's just what you gotta deal with sometimes in some of these kind of unpoliced, uh, unmonitored areas. We, we're all kind of sharing the area and we just gotta put up with each other. It also looks like some uh, bicycle guys have been in here quite a bit because the, the trail is looks like it's uh, nice and plush and uh, someone's been I think I saw us like some makeup over there at, at some point they were back there powdering their noses or something and looked like there was some like some uh, well I'm not going to say but it's, it was gay let's just say it was gay and I'm not saying happy gay, but anyway, you know, those are the ones that ride the bicycles without a seat, a seat on there. They're all about that post. Wow, I went to a dark place. Oh, well. But anyway, we're just out here exploring the trails. Obviously, these trails are wide enough to be, you know, to have a quad going down it. So we've got that to contend with. So we just got to be careful and watch for people. Most importantly, I'm out here riding the trails, which is freaking awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's, this is kind of boring for a lot of people. It's not boring for me. And, and something also that's good is the trail is, uh, there's a little bit of moisture in it instead of it just being like powder dry. So there's a little bit of tack to it and that really helps in this high sand area. There's the climb area. What do you think? Should we do a little climb? It wasn't too bad. It's nice and easy. It's climb number one. Yeah, there's been a lot of people in this. So it looks like Somebody's making a new approach over here. There's a big log down. We'll go to the middle trail here. That was easy, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and kick my fan on. Yeah, it's on. I just have a little switch mount on here. I had the Trail Tech Universal fan on here. That's first. Second. So we're hitting the trails here. Feeling pretty good about it. Never been somebody for hitting the climbs. Now this this wood over here might be a little treacherous, so I'll just stick over to this side. And this thing's just got the grunt. I wonder what's over here. Let's check it out. Uh, so I already uh, uploaded. I uploaded like three videos in a fury last night. So that was. That's, that's just, it is what it is. We're down here at the river area. It looks pretty low. And I uploaded one video that had the new JNS headlight for the SM model. I'm just going back where I came from. 
I don't really like that. I think I'll go back this way. And so I was kind of looking to see if they had one of those for this, but it's not the same, but I'm gonna investigate and see what I can come up with and what I can do. Let's see what the high trail's like. Looks like nobody takes the high trail. Yeah, I think the side-by-sides have been back in here. And those people, they got the money, you know? They're, they're, they're spending the, the big bucks. If you got an extra 20-something thousand dollars to have a, a toy to break. Ooh, this might be a little nasty. I'm going to go easy. Ah, I had to put a foot down. But this, I haven't been back here when it was like this, a little bit of tack. It really helps the sand out. I mean, it's still sloppy because it's fine alluvial sand. But it's a lot better than it is in the summertime when it's super, super dry. So yeah, this is a little bit more powdery, but it, it's kind of compacted down a little bit. This is where that steering stabilizer, it, it helps it out a lot. Keeps me from washing too far. I could probably set it a little a little tighter. If this, when you let off the gas, if you let off the gas, it's bad news, Dewey. But this is this is fine. See, I let off the gas. Cause it's been a while since I've been out of here, out here. But it's not too bad. That little bit of moisture, because it would always mess me up over in this section. And plus the uh, quads and side-by-side -side guys have been back here. Well, that's a big old tree. New. Okay, so I think we'll go back this way. Yeah, that's just down to the water there. I remember, I know where I'm at, but I just gotta be mindful if I go around one of these bins. I haven't scanned this area, and I'm not trying to go fast. This is not a time attack. But anyway, we're just back here having a good time. And I'm gonna try to see if I can find the boys. Hopefully I can meet up with them. I'll have to check my phone again. I don't have it in too convenient of a place on my backpack. Because there's a phone place for it. There's a place for the phone to go. The phones have gotten so big with the case. This one's just a little bit bigger than my other one. So it doesn't fit in there, so i got to put it in the main part of my backpack. This is one of those things, like I said, you just try to maintain a steady, steady throttle and you, yeah, my suspension is kind of working against me, but you don't, you don't put any major new inputs, you don't get any crazy outputs on it. So this is just my little ride for the day. I know it's not a long video. I'm going to go over here and wait for the boys and I might record some more and splice that in but that's it for now see you guys next time maybe hear that fan recording bonus content how about that guys maybe maybe bonus content I'm out here just uh, starting to feel you know get my bearings back to me and I'm feeling pretty good but not getting uh, comfortable just settling into this type of riding again, getting the feel for the bike. You 
Yeah, some people have been just riding or driving their quads or side-by-sides anyway in some of this area and it's getting kind of rutted out and holding water. And that's just kind of a, one of those things where you got to respect the site. If you don't respect the site, it's going to get ruined. Well, something jumped up and hit my... skid plate. Well, I guess that's what it's there for. Oh, see, I let off. Let's just go down here. This might be, this might be a bad idea. All right, we're not moving very much, so I'm going to kick my fan on. It's going to take a little bit to get some momentum because so I just had the OD 606 on the rear so it's not super aggressive. That was pretty steep. Handled it like a boss even though I had, you know, it's pretty poor skill. But see, see guys, I can do stuff. <laughs> uh, to be honest though, uh, off-road is still relatively new to me. Yeah, this is pretty sandy. Oh, I'm just always scanning forward. You can see there's mucky water. There's a stob there. So I just you, you, you just got to constantly be scanning the trails. Let's see what I can do down here. This is a little bit better approach. It's really packed down good because of the quad people. Looks pretty shallow. Looks like I could cross it. Oh, yeah. Super low. This is where the tires just struggle. It looked like somebody lost their brake guard. This is just one of those areas I'm just going to struggle. I don't have a paddle tire. And then all of a sudden, you got it again. Yeah, that's a pretty good climb over there. I've seen a couple of guys do it. There might have been somebody messaged me. One of the boys. Oh, I have no steering. This is one of those situations where I'm just... There we go. Shifted to second, and that's helping. All right. Yeah, the main thing is I don't want to be out here super exposed. I'm gonna see if the boys messaged me and then I might video some of that. We're running out of daylight. Recording. All right. They're not coming. Well, that's kind of strange. Maybe we just weren't on the same page as far as our communication. That's fine. It wasn't looking likely at this point anyway. But we're cool. He's out here riding, having a great time. I'm gonna do a couple more laps around the area. The Dewey's secret space, secret place.
to ride for fun. go in on this other area so here's the levee over here there's another entrance over here and I think what we went out of there oh there it is right there it's kind of new and I like it Kind of some tight maneuvering around here. All right, so um, something I'm going to talk about real quick. You know, hopefully I don't run out of battery or whatever. That's that's kind of my one gripe. That's one thing I'm going to talk about is the Cena camera. All right, it's a 10 C Evo, and I've been using it for a couple years now, and I like it. It's been a nice. It, it still is. It's nice. I can communicate with others with it. I can listen to the radio. I can compare my phone, talk through my phone, get messages, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Of course, we do these videos, and it gets decent audio. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I've got I've got a couple of gold GoPro cameras, and they're just getting dated. And I think I'm going to go and get occasionally some different uh, camera views, probably from the front of my face instead of the side over here, even though it's a pretty good side profile. Camera uh, shot. But I think I'm going to get this. Uh, there's a real good deal right now, and it's brand new. It's a, a GoPro Hero 11. It's a GoPro Hero 11, and it's a mini, and that's kind of what I'm wanting is I'm wanting something as low profile as possible, not as not a whole bunch of gadgets, not a whole bunch of this or that. So, because I think the newer GoPros, one of the gripes that a lot of people have about them is they overheat especially obviously in the warmer conditions. So I think that the less that it has going on, the less likelihood it would happen. And again, I, I'm just doing this for fun. I'm not using the crap out of it and I'm not running them all the time. This is just for fun. There goes a deer. So I, something that I've neglected to do on this channel is do a review of the 10C Evo. Maybe I should do that. They have another edition of it that's called the 10C Pro. 10C Pro, which is not as good. I can't do quite as good a video, but I think the battery might last a little bit longer. I don't know. I don't know if I can go. Oh. That's where I wanted to get to. Something I want to look at real quick. See how high this levee is over here? That's pretty crazy. So it's pretty high on both sides, but it's much higher on the, I think that would be the north side. Pretty cool, huh? Neat.
That was a pretty good climb. Probably should should have took it in first or done a little clutch work, but we're not there yet. But this is second gear with the high or the wide ratio gears by ACT on my E model here. Ooh, that got me right in the nose. Thank goodness I run. I'm wearing my goggles. I'm wearing my goggles, guys. This is so much fun. Woo! I let off just a little bit. And, you know, I just had to react to it. It's better when you can just keep in the straight. See, I let off and it started getting squirrely. As opposed to rabbity. Yeah, the light's starting to fade on me. It's getting a little bit darker. Let's see, what time is it? 707. I got a little bit more time I can do this. I, I've won it. Um, I'm wearing an undershirt here. Ooh. And it's. Oh, it's one of the Cycle Gear brands. And it's it's got a. Kind of a. I don't know. A wind barrier on the front. Of it. So it's going to be pretty chilly on the way back home. Because I rode this here, and that's like oh, eight, eight or nine, if that, miles. And if I was to do this very much longer, I'd have to shed it because I'm getting a little too warm. But I'm still relatively comfortable. Gosh, this just feels good out here. Yeah, I know some people would be able to do a race pace through here. People have been riding dirt bikes all their life. That's fine. You guys can do that. That's not what my fulfillment and enjoyment is about. It's about just enjoying the ride. And sharing what I can with you when I want to. There's, I do a lot of riding when I don't share what I'm doing. Oh man, yeah, this is this is just good. It kind of switches back here. Looks some people have been maintenancing the the trail. There's a few stobs in that. Yeah, this DRZ again. This is a Stroker Big Boar, so she's a runner. All right, it's tightening up, so it's not as maintenanced over here. Don't want to try to stand up in here. You can tell these riders don't don't stand up. We're gonna cut back this way. Oh yeah. Oh man, this is. From doing all the wheelies, I've really got a secondary or, I don't know, a different type of relationship with my rear brake, and I use it so instinctively now in different conditions, and, and you know, I've got a feel for it. I haven't done a lot of wheelies on this motorcycle, for example, but, and, and no... Rear brake is created equal. But it's nice to be able to have that in my handling resume. All right, just like that, we're out of the trail again. And we're in the big wide open by the levee on this side. And I think that's where we're going to end this. So we're piecing two or three different videos together. I hope you enjoy it. 
thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.